add them up, move them out. Before you know it, you've got yourself a record-breaking Texas-sized Ram Roundup. It all happened in the shadow of AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, in conjunction with Ram Truck's sixth year as official truck of the Academy of Country Music Awards. Ram truck owners from all over the country participated in the Roundup and 3.2-mile parade. And by the time the last one returned to the lot, a new Guinness World Records title for largest parade of pickup trucks was set, 451, lassoing the title from the old record of 438. Well, just about 15 miles from the FCA U.S. Belvedere, Illinois assembly plant, disaster hit a few weeks ago when a series of tornadoes blew through the area. To help those families affected by the storm, the FCA Foundation donated $25,000 to the United Way of Rock River Valley. That money will go towards temporary housing and other emergency relief efforts. Well, the vast 504-acre Chrysler Headquarters and Technical Center complex is also a showcase for environmental and wildlife management. That's why FCA has been recognized by two organizations, the Michigan Nursery and Landscape Association and the Wildlife Habitat Council for its efforts to maintain and enhance the property for the benefit of its employees and the environment. The MNLA awarded FCA U.S. and its partner Brickman Group of Taylor, Michigan, top honors in the landscape management category. WHC recognized the company for its leadership in corporate conservation with the Wildlife at Work certification. The complex's concept of under one roof was also featured at this week's Society of Automotive Engineers World Congress in Detroit. Everything from the product design office sketches to the engineering feasibility that follows that, all of the analytical work that we do to virtually simulate the product designs, and then all of the testing facilities we have uh, at the complex as well to physically validate uh, all of our designs. Owen says under one roof is also an effective tool for attracting engineering talent to FCA. And those are the top stories this week on FCA Replay. I'm Ed Garston reporting for FCA Digital Media.